Okay, let's have a walk around this uh, 19, or D registration, so the 1986 or 87, I think 87. Um, Land Rover 90, 2.5 diesel, ex-military, and presumably an ex-airfield control vehicle, because it's, uh, it's in bright yellow, um, high visibility yellow as they call it. Um, nice truck actually, um, nice sound solid one, um, got on the tyre wise. 750R16s, yeah, 750R16s, super, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, 750R16 tyres, military front bumper, we will be replacing that front uh, front number plate because that's uh, definitely seen better days, um, bonnet mounting on the, sorry, spare wheel mounting on the bonnet, not the other way around, um, proper military doors, uh, tilt with windows in the sides, <coughs> military bumperettes. It's got a nice drop hitch tow bar on it, although it has also got inside this the original NATO tow hook as well. If you want to put that back on. Um, st standard military spec, except it's got a, um, a nice set of later style um, techno trim um, seats with headrests and stuff in the more comfortable civilian ones. Anyway, let's go around and pick out some good bits and bad bits. Not many bad bits, it's fair to say. Um, it's a nice paint job actually by uh, by military standards. I, so I presume it was done whilst it was in the military, but it's actually not a bad job all round. Um, one or two sort of minor scuffs here, I think, where someone's lifted the, lifted the spare wheel on and uh, scuffed the paint very slightly on the top wing top and on the bonnet here. But um, it is the uh, next military one. The um, military front bumper's a bit rusty around the um, around the shackle point, but uh, no more than that. And those are just bug marks and stuff around the front end. Don't know why bugs like yellow so much, but there you go. Um, down the near side, pretty straight. There's a couple of dents in the barrel side up here, just there, there, and there. Hasn't broken the paint, but uh, there are a couple of sort of minor ripples and stuff in the in the barrel side. Oh, apart from that, pretty straight and true and, uh, and correct. Um, screen's good. Scuttle corners look fantastic on it. Don't look as if they've um, even needed a hint of a repair panel or anything. If they have been repaired, have been done to... Uh, Factory standards, shall we say? That's uh, that's really good. As are the A posts, very good as well. Passenger door is very good. Near side modesty cover has lost a little bit of paint just on the towards the back of the um, the door opening bit there. That's about it. Um, the tilt is serviceable. There's one or two sort of minor nicks and holes in it here and there, but uh, nothing really to get too excited about. New tilts aren't expensive anyway, but um, it uh, does does the job. It keeps the wind off. Um, Inside here, as I say, standard military, apart from the uh, the seats have been replaced with later style techno ones. All the floor pans and everything all look really good. Um, all looks nice. It's even yellow behind up here on the bulkhead, so uh, don't really know. Just look at the history in some ways. But uh, oh, no, the that military map light has come off its uh, come off its mounts. That should sit in there. So uh, needs needs screwing back in again. Um, Doors, door frames aren't wonderful. Base of the passenger door is uh, the base frame is um, is rusty, uh, but it still opens and closes properly and does what it should. So, don't worry too much about that. And it's not um, there's no movement really on the hinges at all. Um, near side rear wing is all nice. It, you can see there. There's a lot of oil around the um, the near side rear hub seal. We're going to be replacing that hub seal because it's obviously um, leaking quite badly. So that will be done before it goes anywhere. Um, before it goes to a new owner. Uh, around the tail end, there's all the military fitments on the tailgate and everything. This is all uh, all as it should be for an ex-military one. Um, and down the offside, again, pretty straight and correct. There's a very, very faint sort of ripply dent just there, a little bit in the offside rear wing, just where it's uh, been nudged into something at some point. But it's a Land Rover after all. A um, little bit of electrolytic reaction and paint loss on the base of the, the offside door, just down on the very bottom there. But otherwise, uh, all pretty good. And again, the scuttle corner up here on the, the offside is uh, really, really nice. Really correct, so is the A-post. Looking inside, driver's door once again. The, fr the frame corners on both front doors aren't brilliant, but... Uh, they're not flexing badly at all or doing anything like that, so uh, still good for a few years yet. Um, and they're the proper military doors with the uh, military door tops and stuff, the two-piece ones. Um, again, the footwell's in the driver's side. Um, absolutely first class. Really nice. Um, that's about it, really. There's not much more to say about it. It's just a, a nice uh, 
a nice ungot at um, ex-military one. Uh, it's not been sort of overloaded with checker plate or uh, any funny bits. That's about it. My name's Simon. You can reach me on 0771 906 9353 or in the office on 0118 946 3352 or you can go to our website which is www.motodrome.co.uk. There's also the uh, proper uh, military style roll hoop in the back as well. Um, that's it. We take um, Visa and MasterCard credit cards and debit cards. We take part exchanges um, and we can ship it anywhere like in the world. That's about it. End.